Structure of a SAP HR implementation project depends on the given prerequisites of an enterprise. There are many useful possibilities to define the scope of a first implementation. This series of video training is designed to help members of the HR team to oversee and utilize SAP HR module not only as a collection of tools but also as a single platform for monitoring, managing and analyzing an organization's human resources. SAP's flagship software R3 which is now called the Enterprise Central Component or the ECC is made up of three major areas financials, logistics and the human capital management. The SAP Human Capital Management module is a complete and integrated human capital management solution that delivers unmatched global capability. SAP Human Capital Management gives organizations in all industries worldwide the tools needed to manage their most important asset, people. The solution equips executives, HR professionals, and line managers to hire the best talent as well as train and cultivate the skills of their existing workforce. The SAP Human Capital Management module is made up of the following sub-modules. Every employee employed in the company has an organizational assignment. It means that she or he is unique in the enterprise structure and in the personnel structure. In other words, the employee belongs to a specific place of company and has a specific status. Personnel administration comprises the areas of HR master data, the necessary structures and the corresponding reporting. Personnel administration thus forms the basis for other areas of personnel management while also acting as an independent essential personnel management process. Organizational management is the maintenance of the organizational structure as a basis for reporting and planning purposes. The recruiting sub-module is for managing vacancies, job advertisements, selection, and correspondence with prospective employees and other agents. Time management module is for maintenance and evaluation of time data, managing time accounts, creating input for payroll. Payroll submodule is for calculation of gross and net salaries, payment reporting to authorities, posting to financial module. Benefits submodule deals with pension plans, insurance, and other benefits in compliance to the specific rules of each country. Compensation management submodule deals with compensation planning for individual employees and groups, budgeting, policies, benchmarking, and job pricing. Personnel cost planning submodule deals with planning of costs based of basic pay master data, organizational management, payroll results and payroll simulation. Budget management submodule deals with managing positions and budgets for public sector. Personnel development submodule deals with skill management, career and succession planning appraisals and development plans. Training and event management submodule deals with event catalog, organizing events and resource planning, management of attendees, correspondence, billing and activity allocation. Travel management submodule deals with planning of trips, procurement of tickets, etc. Requests and approval processes, settlement and posting to financial accounting. In this video training, we will learn in detail on how to configure the following human capital management sub-modules. Personnel administration, 
organizational management time management payroll benefits and reporting if you wish to learn how to configure the rest of the modules please look up our advanced courses for now let's look at the modules listed on the screen in more detail in times of increasing decentralization and globalization of markets a central and constantly accessible administration for personal data is becoming an increasingly decisive advantage you can manage all modern personal administration tasks with this application component called SAP HR Personnel Administration. You can store all types of information about an employee in human resources infotypes. Infotypes provide information with a structure, facilitate data entry, and enable you to store data for a specific period. If you make a change to the personnel data of an infotype which then has an effect on the data of a second infotype, the SAP system automatically displays the second infotype. These dynamic actions are triggered automatically by the SAP system and guarantee consistent data retention at all times. Dynamic actions assist you with many human resource processes which lead on to further activities. Organizational management is the backbone of the SAP HR system. Organizational management provides for effective management of information about the company's organizational units, positions, and employees. Organizational management also provides the link for integration of SAP human resources and other objects. Organizational management is based on the concept that each element in an organization represents a standalone object with individual characteristics. These objects are created and maintained separately, then linked together through relationships to form a network which has the flexibility to handle human resource forecasting and reporting. In the organizational management module, Additional characteristics or custom objects can be created and assigned to other objects. These custom objects provide additional descriptive information which can be used for reporting and other purposes. There are five basic building blocks in the organizational management module. The graphic on the screen defines the object types and object type keys used.